three, two, one, and whoa! <laughs> Let's explore the magic of atmospheric pressure. I'll do two very simple, something you can do and try at home experiments, and you know what? We'll have some fun. So here I have a bottle filled with hot water and yes, it's, it's quite hot. I'm having difficulty in holding it and this one is a water, again normal water mixed with food color, green color, right? So what they're about to do, we said self-filling bottle. So let's see, what did we exactly mean? So first of all, I'm going to open this. Now this bottle had water for one or two minutes, right? My idea was to make this hot from inside. So I just wear the glove and empty the bottle. Now very quickly I'll just seal it. Now this cap is special. I have sealed it and put a straw in between, right? So this cap, I'll just very tightly close the bottle. There's a straw. I have used clay to seal it properly, right? Right. Now, watch what happens. It's, it's still hot. Oh, just, just notice very carefully. The bottle is starting to fill itself. Let's use this one. And what I also need is a matchbox. Thanks. Yes. So now you can see there's going to be fire in this. So I want you to be careful. Let me just keep the egg. What is this? Set an egg on a bottle. Nothing special. You are, you are right. Nothing special. I can just keep it till the bottle. It goes off. It comes down. That's true. But what happens? When first of all, I'll just keep some paper or tissue papers inside because I'm going to light it on fire and I don't have time to waste. That's why I'm just filling it with some papers, right? Dry newspapers or tissue papers. You can just use anything. Next, I light the matchsticks. You can use two, three matchsticks. And I'll keep the egg ready. Now let's see. Three, two, one, and. Whoa! <laughs> what did you see? The egg just broke apart and rest it was sucked inside. It's a hollow egg now. Ho oh, ho! That was fun, right? I feel. The egg, the way just egg got sucked inside the bottle, it was pretty awesome, right? So, why did this happen? Because yes, we had fun. Let's understand also, no? Because tomorrow I want you to take it to another level. You can do crazy stuff with that if you know what exactly happened. The science behind the self-filling bottle and the egg getting sucked inside the bottle. Let's see. First, let's take care of the self-filling bottle. So what happened? You remember, right? There was hot water inside the bottle. Yes, there was hot water. Nice. Then what I did, I poured the water out, right? But still the bottle was hot, correct? When you poured the bottle, sorry, when you poured the water, the bottle was still hot. All right. All right. Then we took the straw and the cap, right? This arrangement and it was properly sealed by the way. We fixed it on top of it. There was water vapor inside the bottle. Nice. Okay. The water droplets inside the bottle convert to vapor due to the heat. That's true because this was a hot water bottle. So whatever moisture you had inside, it was converted to vapors because the bottle was hot. Nice. Now what happened? When we just invert this bottle with the straw inside that green colored water, remember, it started rising up slowly, slowly started rising up and started filling the bottle. What happened here? And did you notice 
I was holding the bottle now. At this time, I was holding it properly. Why? Why? Did you notice? It was... I was trying to cool the bottle down. I was absorbing the heat from the bottle. And the more and more the bottle was cooling down, inside whatever water vapor was there, it was getting converted back into water and now taking less and less space. Because water vapor is in gaseous state. Water is in liquid state. So when the gases and the water vapor converted into water, it started taking less space, creating a low pressure inside. And now atmospheric pressure, which was pushing this, it made it to rise inside the bottle. And that's exactly how the self-filling bottle worked, right? The air pressure inside the bottle reduced. The water gets pushed up into the straw because of the higher atmospheric pressure. We know it's there, right? We just don't see it because our body takes care of it. Then we did the egg experiment. Put an egg into a bottle. It was simple. You just keep an egg without anything. It'll just You can just make it drop like this. Not a problem. But what happened? You cannot shove in the boiled egg without breaking it. And if I tried to, if I started pushing it, it would just break, right? But we just tried something scientific, right? We took the matchsticks here. It's a paper because we have tried it with paper. We can, you can try it with paper also, but you have to be quick. The moment you drop it, just at that particular moment, you have to just seal it with the egg, right? So on placing a burning piece of paper in the bottle and then placing the egg, mind it. This is from experience. You have to seal it very quickly, okay? And a shorter bottle is, uh, is preferable, I would say, okay? Now, the moment you place the egg, what happens? Slowly, slowly, that burning matchstick or the paper if you put, like burning paper, they will extinguish. Why? Because they are using up the oxygen, right? On placing a burning piece of paper in the bottle and then placing the egg, the egg falls in the bottle. What happened? The egg was actually sucked. We see it as being sucked, but you know what? It is actually pushed inside because of the atmospheric pressure. And we have talked about this before. While we are sucking using a straw, drinking water or any cold drink, we feel we are sucking, but you know what? It's actually the atmospheric pressure that is making it to go inside and reaching our mouth. So here the same thing happened. It's not the egg being sucked. It is the atmospheric pressure pushing the egg inside the bottle. But why? The question is, how did this imbalance was created? Inside there was some reduced pressure. That's true. But why? Let's see. The burning paper vaporizes the water droplets. See, the paper was burning, it's what hydrocarbons. It takes up the oxygen. Nice. Now, it gives you carbon dioxide and water vapor. Again, the same thing. Water vapor. While the environment was hot, while the paper or mastic was burning, it's in vapor state. Nice. But it condenses as the flame goes out. And same thing. Water vapor, which was taking more space, now is taking less space because of its condensed or the liquid form, the water, right? Less, pre less pressure inside, which means atmospheric pressure is the hero now. It can push the egg inside. And that's how we saw high pressure pushing the egg and making it to fall inside the bottle. With this, I would say you have understood the science behind it. Let me ask you something then. If you understood everything very properly, answer this. How would you fit an inflated balloon in a bottle? I want to see your answers in the comment section. Go ahead, do it, try it and answer it. Nice. And if you think it helped, the video helped to you, right? You got to learn something new, like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel because we keep coming back with more such interesting stuff.